Today I'm going to show you how I replace the slider pins on my Fiesta ST's front brakes. I uh, bought them from an eBay vendor, Brakes International, this is what they sent me. Make sure you get BCF1339. Um, if you search on a registration for a Fiesta ST, you may well get listed uh, 1426, BCF1426. They're actually not the right ones. Um, BCF1339 is what you need. Uh, if you want to know what tools you need to do this, uh, you can look at my other video on brake pad and disc replacement which has them all listed. I'll try and get a link on the video here so you can click and go straight to that. So once you've done all the usual, you've got the car up on stands, that's pretty straightforward. Um, first thing is to undo the bolts that go into the existing slider pins. And once you've undone those two, uh, it helps to just undo the bracket that holds the brake hose to the hub assembly. Um, can't quite see it in the image here, but it's just a simple 10mm bolt. Undo that, it frees off the bracket, and it gives you uh, a lot more freedom to move the caliper and get it out of the way once you've got it taken off. Now using a G-clamp, I'm just going to press the piston back in a little bit. In theory you shouldn't need to do this because I'm not changing the pads or the discs um, so the, the space the caliper needs to fit over uh, hasn't changed. But just by pressing it back in a little bit, once you have got the new slider pins in and you put the uh, whole caliper assembly back together, you can check that everything moves um, as it should. So once that's done, uh, cable ties up onto the uh, suspension spring just get it out of the way so that you can then work um, freely on the slider pins Now unless uh, your slider pins are stuck or seized, um, they should come out fairly easily. Just get the rubber boot off and out they come. You can see these are a bit grubby, a bit grimy, not very well lubed. Um, need a service. Could probably have gotten away with just cleaning these up and reapplying some lubricant. But uh, as it was only £20 for a set for both front wheels, um, I chose to just replace them with some new ones. And before I fit the new slider pins I get a strong paper towel just clean out the uh, holes that they go into try and get rid of as much of the uh, old silicone grease, grime, and dirt and contaminants as possible.
so with that all cleaned uh, it's time to lubricate the new pins and get them ready to go back on so each kit comes with a sachet of the silicone grease so I understand that you should only use the silicone grease if you try and use any other type of lubricant it's just not suitable and you will have problems you could end up with the uh, pins seizing and sticking and that will give you all sorts of problems with the brakes uneven wear and so on so use the sachet that it comes with and uh, spread it evenly across both pins give them a good coating So with both of the pins evenly coated, the first thing I do is get the rubber boots, just put a little smear of the silicone grease on the end and then pop it into place. It takes a little bit of fiddling just to get it over, uh, but it's pretty straightforward once it's on. both of them on you can then get your greased up slider pins and slide them in. Make sure the rubber boot locates like that. Then just check that both move freely, work them in and out a little bit just to make sure the uh, grease is distributed all the way in and that they move nice and smoothly. With all that done you then just need to get the brakes reassembled. So taking a caliper, making sure I don't get the hose twisted the wrong way, pop it back over the pads and get the two bolts in. And with that done, check that the whole assembly moves backwards and forwards nice and freely, which it does. So, job done. Pretty straightforward. Two bolts, a couple of cable ties, some grease, and about 20 minutes of time. Hope you found that useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.
Thanks for watching.